Hello friends, all those students who are preparing for the gate examination and they wish to go for a M.Tech after their graduation, after their B.Tech, they have always a curiosity in their mind that when they are going for the post-graduation M.Tech, then what is the best specialization that will be helping them for a better future? Guys, this answer is very subjective. This depends on person to person, case to case, situation to situation. And on the basis of your future plans, I can classify this decision of selecting a specialization broadly in three ways. First, that if you wish to go for a government job later on. Second, if you wish to go for a placement. Third, if you wish to pursue your career in academics, or a professor in a government college. So these three are the categories on which it will be depending that which specialization is best for you. Let us take these categories one by one. The first one was that if you wish to go for a government job later on. Guys, when you're going for engineering services or a state uh, PSC, then most of the times, 99.9% .9 of times, M.Tech is not the minimum qualification. Only B.Tech will help. So in that case, any specialization will not affect much in your career or in your promotion or in your selection because the competition exam is more important rather than your college and specialization. So for going for a government sector, you can take any specialization of your wish and most of the students are taking IT Delhi, IT Roodki, IT BHU because the ambience is there, the environment is there for the preparation of government exams. And most of the times they are selecting those branches where the curriculum is less by asking the teachers or the in fact sometimes when the professors are light on those departments of that particular college. Now second category that is placement. There is a myth that structural engineering is always going to give you the maximum placement. Guys, each and every branch has some placements. In fact, the package is also can be highest in environment also for a particular college can be highest in in structures also or construction planning management also. So the, yes, you can say that the number of opportunities in the Gulf countries or in the subcontinent are more in structures, but the package is more, that is a myth. Package can be more in any of these branches. So let me tell you each of these branches one by one. Structures, construction, planning and management, geotechnical engineering, transportation, environmental engineering, water resource engineering. These branches you will find in most of the college. Apart from these specializations, there are other few specializations which are in some particular colleges like marine engineering in IIT Madras, rock engineering in IIT Delhi, remote sensing, earthquake or some interdisciplinary branches where the students from other branches like mechanical electronics can also come like energy and environment. So from these branches if you see placement wise guys, the package can be more in any of these branches, but yes, as far as the subcontinent is there or Gulf countries is there, structural engineering is the maximum opportunities, but the package is independent of these branches. Okay, after that, if you see the opportunities in the subcontinent, then after structural engineering, it is construction planning management is growing very rapidly these days and then geotechnical engineering. If you ask me in my era, in 2012-13, geotechnical was the second most preferred, but now geotechnical goes down to third along with transportation in fourth and the second most preferred branch is construction planning and management. But that depends on location. If you see go to Australia, transportation is having the maximum number of opportunities. If you go to Europe, then water resource engineering is having the maximum number of opportunities. So. This is a myth that structure is always giving you the more package. More package can be in any branch that is independent of branch. 
and the opportunities also depends on location. India subcontinent, I'm repeating, it's structural engineering, geotechnical and construction planning management. In Australia, it will be transportation engineering and in Europe, it will be water resource engineering. How to choose specialization? I told you three things. First was, if you go wish to go for a government job. Second, placement. And third was academics, if you want to be a professor. Again, guys, for every of these specialization, the professors are required. Each of the thing is in your curriculum, okay? Even geology, surveying, survey, everything is in their curriculum. So depending upon your interest, because for up to your retirement, you'll be teaching that subject. So depending upon your interest, you can go for that particular specialization. If your planning is for going in academics or being a professor, I recommend you, in spite of college, you can choose the specialization as the preferred one. But if your aim is the placement, then you can opt for the college also because sometimes IIT Bombay, IIC Bangalore, in fact, IIT Kharagpur offers more package than rest of the IITs. I hope this video is very useful for you. Keep commenting for more your doubts. I will be eagerly waiting for your doubts and I'll reply them. Like and share the video. Thank you.